Hey guys, how we doing? Starting off in a slightly different place today. Still got the bells, but uh, I'm a little bit slower walking today. Uh, we've been doing a lot of um, walking lunges in my outdoor boot camp that I attend. Uh, we do one workout called Thigh of the Tiger and it's brutal. The guys who know you know. Um, so yeah, uh, I would say dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of uh, walking lunges within a, a short space of time. Renalyn, how are you? I think that's, uh, hope I pronounced it correctly. How is everybody? How's your week going, midweek? Just gonna let it build up a little bit. And I'm gonna ask one question straight away. How many hours per day do you use your phone? Yeah? Put it in the comments below. How many hours per day do you use your phone? If you're not sure, just guess for now. And I've got a little challenge coming up afterwards. And then see how we do with that. How many hours a day do you use your phone? <laughs> so, we're going to talk about... Um, digital detox today so it's part of my comeback journey in life you know when uh, when I was near on burnout when I was uh, pretty broken pissed off unhappy frustrated um, as part of uh, resetting myself and going on this uh, self-discovery journey a big pillar that I go by is energy you know operating at the highest level of energy at all times yeah um, but also, when we're doing that, we need to protect our energy. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Um, and one thing that drains our energy, and it's, it's proven, you know, is there's uh, statistics on it, there's studies on it, bloody screens, screen time. So, Michelle, put below how many hours a day do you use your, use your mobile phone? If you're not sure, just guess for now, um, and then I'm going to do a little challenge in a minute. Um, so... Why would you do a digital, digital de detox? So let me explain it first. Let me explain what I mean by that. Um, so what I mean is uh, staying away from all devices, and I mean all devices. So I mean your mobile, your, app, your, your iPad, your laptop, your TV, all devices for as long as you possibly can. So you'd obviously have to plan it, set it up. So I'm going to throw a challenge out there. Probably better if you do it at the weekend, if and when you're not working. How long can you last without devices? How long can you have a digital detox for? So my best is uh, near on sort of 48 hours and really, really, really super beneficial because we need to set, reset the, uh, the dopamine and the, the neurotransmitters in our mind. We need to reset those because from overuse, they just burn out eventually over time you know how many times are you looking at a screen or how many times have you got foggy brain and uh, you know your neurotransmitters are just not working properly so that's my challenge to everybody um, to try a, a digital detox leave all devices for as long as you possibly can see how far you can go can you manage 24 hours can you manage 48 hours and then let me know what, what are the benefits of it as well now, why would you do it? So, as I say, to, to reset the neurotransmitters, to reset dopamine levels as well, because dopamine, if you keep hammering it all the time, you eventually end up with burnout from too much of it. Um, and also, the other huge benefit as well is reconnecting with other people, actually sitting down and having a conversation. How many times are you having a conversation with the phone in the hand? Or, you know, you go, go out for a meal with your partner and then you've got your phone at the same time. How many times has that happened? Yeah? So, so over time, that's going to definitely have an impact on our relationships. Especially during lockdown, you know, where we're face-to-face -face a lot. And uh, what are we doing? We've got a screen. Hey, Jeff, how are you? How many hours a day do you use your phone, Jeff? Uh, just guess it. Pump it in the, in the, uh, in the uh, comments below. How many hours a day do you use a phone on average? If you haven't got the, uh, the settings on your phone to, to look, just guess it for now. Um, the shock for me, five hours and 38 minutes. 
was my average um, mobile phone usage per day. Five hours and 38 minutes. That, that uh, phone glued to my hand. So if you haven't tried it, <clears throat> there's a screen time setting on your phone. Um, on, the, uh, on the iPhone, it's, uh, it's called screen time. Just pop in there and set it up and just have a look. Um, and it breaks it all down by type as well. Fash, man, five to six hours. Yeah, it's about the same as me. Mine was 5.38 and I was shocked. I was proper shocked. So wh when are you going to do... Uh, <laughs> and, and Jeff, three to four hours, yeah? So guys, when, when are you going to do the, the full one-day minimum uh, digital detox? I challenge both of you to do it one day this weekend. You know? I don't reckon you could do it. You know that, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you've got the minerals to get it done. How's that? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. So huge benefits to have a digital detox. Give it a go. I do it probably probably once a month, you know, for a minimum of 24 hours. Um, and it really, really resets the brain. Um, stops the fogginess, you know, when you're foggy, too, 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 many, too many devices. Um, and the, the final piece, I mean all devices. So I mean your phone, your iPad, your laptop, TV as well, all of it. Challenge accepted, Jeff. When are you doing it? And Fash, you're going to do it as well. You're going to do it this weekend, guys? Let, let me know. Let's push this uh, a little bit further. I'll tell you what, I'll accept the challenge as well. I'm going to do it one day this weekend. Um, and I'm going to confirm which day. All right. Cheers, guys.